during the last year when you had the injuries and um, things didn't, I mean, the whole year was a little bit difficult, was really difficult. Uh, has there been a, a point where you regretted the decision to go for it? Oh, you know, I think, yeah, sometimes I think, oh man, you know, like, I, I miss the, and I don't like to say the, the, the big stuff, because this stuff is big as well, but there's definitely a different feel in the Ironman stuff than there is in this ITU stuff. It's a, it's a young crowd, and uh, completely different vibe, a different, a different style of, but yeah, I miss, yeah, I did, I did, Hawaii, I really started to miss it. I was like, fire out, this is the big leak, you know, like I'm not, and I'm not a part of it for the first time in a decade, and that was, I was like, my, and it's not as if I'd retired. So if I was a retired athlete, I thought it might have been easier to watch because you're still physically capable of, of winning. So you say, shit, like, you know, I, I miss it, but, you know, I've always been motivated by challenges. And, uh, and yeah, the Olympics, it's, it's my last shot at it. And so why wouldn't no, I take no. a chance? And, and unlike many of these other kids, it won't define me. If I, if I get the phone call on April 15, sorry Chris, you missed out, I won't be like it was in April of 2000 where I didn't know what I could do in my life. I, I sat in my house in Sydney with my hands on my head going, my life is over. I'll get the phone call the next day, I'll be like, okay, thank you, boy. Off you go. Off I go. Like it's, it won't define me and I think that's the difference. And I know for a lot of young kids, it will define them and they will be the person I was in 2000. And so it's, it's a completely different vibe, so regret, you know, yeah, you miss the limelight, but it's not really a regret, because I, I'll be able to, I think, I'll, I'll see myself in 10 years' time as I'll thank myself for doing this, win or lose, because it won't be a, a what if, I'll have answered that question in my own head, oh, what if I should try for that Olympics? Well, now it's a different experience. Yeah, now it's a, it's a, it's you know, a what journey. If, yeah, I'll, I'll have won, the, I'll have won Hawaii, and... People will go, oh, what if you went back in 2011? And, and, I, and I said, well, I could have won it, but I won't, you know, in 10 years' time, I won't be saying to myself, you know, I wonder how I would have gone had I tried to make the Olympics. There was a, probably a chance there I could have gone. I'll have answered that. No, I couldn't. I tried and I didn't. Or yeah. I, I tried and I did. So but I think for me, for my own piece, you know, I think as an athlete I'm content athletically with what I've achieved and now I, I get motivated by different challenges by seeing friends compete well or racing individuals or, or looking for challenges that motivate me. You know, at the end of the day, I go back and we encounter again, three, four, what, what, will I feel better? More of the same. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, it, is, it really is, it's more of the same. So you're, you're looking for different you know, if you climb out Everest twice, do you go back there a third time or do you find another mountain to, to check the view out from? Or do you look for something else? And I think I've always been that, which has always made me different to many other athletes because I think they've always put their goals as the goals that they think they need to achieve in order to feel content in sport. My goals have always been personally motivated. I always wanted to go to Hawaii because it was the race that got me into the sport. I always wanted to go to an Olympics. I could because I used to watch it as a kid. I always wanted to win these Roth, for example, because my heroes did it, not because it was Roth or we are family or any of that. It was always motivated by my own things, and it's always driven my career. And I think people who know me and a lot of people now are realizing that that passion has been my primary motivator, and and, and I've, I've not been yeah, I, and I feel that my decisions have been mine and they haven't been made for me by by other people saying, you know, you should win this race because it's important to have two of these in your resume or four of these. It's been, well, no, it's, it's important. And what you say shows very clearly how you changed during all the years since you won the IT World Championship since 1997. If you look at the, at the ITU uh, field or the way of racing, how, what is the difference, the main difference between... The, the size world? of the athletes. Uh -huh. the, the, you know, they're a different, they're a different looking athlete than they were in the, my era because they're, they're a product of the evolution of, of draft legal racing. Yeah. You know, when I came across, we jet that the sport had just changed. So 
there was a much more mix of big guys and strong guys. Uh, now they're all yeah, little drafting. tiny guys. So that the the drafting and the packs on the bike changed. They made I guess it was this you know, drafting the nature. Oh, 100%. Yeah, they changed the whole Drafting changed the look of the athlete, it made them smaller, the run became more pro. They're still phenomenal athletes, it's just the look and shape. So I remember the, the feeling for me when I first came back this year was, she's a big man. You, you know, but I never felt that in the in the 90s. I never felt like a, one of the big guys in the field, but now you look at them. Yeah, you know, but if you look at the old videos, it doesn't show, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not. There was a lot of bigger guys, you know. Of course, there's six foot guys like Jan Fredino and and the Russians are big, but predominantly they're a, a very small build. You know, the, the Peter Robinsons and the Greg Welshers when I was young were odd. They were the little, you know, they were small. But now that, that's the common look, and uh, so I, I think that's a big change. I think uh, you know. I think as athletes, they're phenomenal. They're great athletes. So. But no, no basic changes in training methods or anything. Well, no, well, I haven't training. really seen a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I think that, that also not in the other teams. Yeah, I, I think that I think other there's always envy amongst other countries. I think the Swiss do a good job. I think the you know the English are obviously doing something well. But I, I just think what I think is lost is the spark of the camaraderie. It seems to be over coached now, over administrative. There's more, you know, there's assistant coaches and coach coaches and administrative coaches and head coaches. And so you go to these events where back in the day it was a hundred friends. You'd have a beer after it and talk about it. It was, it was a lifestyle, it was driven by a, a common sport, but now it's just, and people say it's for the better. And who knows? It's, it's, I, I think it's different. Is it for the better? I think it's lost a bit of its soul yeah. in that sense, and it's become very Olympic, you know, like yeah. USSR. Like it's also like, more about political correctness. Yeah, it just seems there's no characters anymore. There's no, you know, they're streamlined. Yeah, it's very, yeah, you know, like a, a US strip mall. You know, they're all franchises. They're just flat. There's mm -hmm. no, and Alistair Brownlee for me brings a bit of the old school back. He has something. I don't know what it is. I, I he has this this look, this, yeah, this way he races, and this, this, yeah, that, that right. he's a bit of a character, and you know, and, and I think um, it just seems a lot of people, a lot of great talent is lost now in the eight, nine, tens, twelves. They're phenomenal athletes. The guys finishing tenth, but they don't have the opportunity to show themselves, to shine, to to voice their thing because they're just a flat part of a a machine that is this style of racing, where in Ironman those people have a voice, they can they can shine and, and, and a lot of the time those are the characters that really cement and build a sport, we never get to hear from them in ITU racing. Here we are at the point, Ironman, Kona, 2012, Lance Armstrong, would you love to race him in Kona this year if you were not on the Olympics? I'd, I'd love to race Lance, you know, I've been wanting to race Lance for Years now. Or well, before I even signed up for this Ironman stuff, we were talking about racing. I've, like I said, I was always looking at being motivated by racing interesting events. And, you know, a race against Lance was something we were talking about two years ago with Lance. Unfortunately, he opted to do the Ironman route and uh, he's been relatively successful so far. Early, it's early. Um, you know, you have to expect success. You know, 50% of the race is bike riding, he's one of the best bike riders, but, you know, would I like to race him in Hawaii? I'd love to race him in Hawaii, but I'm not going to just put my hand up and go, oh, I'm coming back to Hawaii because I want to race Lance Armstrong. I would, as a former winner of the event, as a, I would, I'd like him to throw down the challenge. You know, as I think he should throw down to Craig Alexander. I can't, but I don't think he wants to. He's coming back to Ironman for completely different reasons. And I think he's very open about his what he's capable of. And if he can be successful, it's a bonus. So I, you know, I don't think he's going to put his hand on. So I want to race Chris McCoy and Craig Alexander and kick their butt in Hawaii because I think he, you know, I think he knows he can be successful. But he's not going to say anything, put himself out there because 
he knows Iron Man could be cruel. He's got he's a smart guy, he's got a lot of smart people around him and but do I want to race him in Kona? I'd, I'd love nothing more. But will you see me in 2012 in Kona? Ask Iron Man. <laughs> you know, ask Iron Man Corporation. No.